Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy Scooter back again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the M launcher for Android. Um, as you can see, this is basically what the app is going to look like when you first get it. Um, the launcher is pretty much going to be a blank screen and then up at the top you're going to see a Google search bar. Uh, it, uh, we'll just go ahead and take a look at some of the settings that you can do with this launcher. Um, uh, in the desktop so you can customize how many rows on uh, the grid that you want for this for your launcher such as you can change the amount of columns that you have making it so you can put more apps on one page and then also you can change the rows where you can get more apps on there as well and then you can also go in and change the icon layout where you're changing the size of the apps uh, how big they are you can go in customize the font as well change the colors give it a different color change if you would like that you can also go in and give it a shadow which I can't really see I don't think there's much of a difference for that one and then also you can lock the layout where it, your layout won't will not change and then you can also do a wallpaper scrolling so whenever you're scrolling through your your pages uh, the wallpaper will slightly scroll to the left and right and then also if you don't want to have the Google search bar up here at the top you can have it so it disappears like right here it'll disappear you can have it so that you know if you don't want that up there because you really you can't move that search bar at all you can only just leave it there at once and then also if you want to go in and look at the app drawer you can control the way that your apps look so right now they're vertically aligned so as you can see there you go up and down vertically and then if you don't want it that way you can change it to a list so that way they are in alphabetical order or if you want to change the horizontal you can have it where they scroll left and right so you can customize it to your way of doing it and then also in here you can change the icon size as well whenever you're in the app drawer you can change the labels the colors you can even give it a background color if you wanted to uh, give it a like a light dark you can also hide your apps you can hide the, the search bar you can even favorite apps so let's take a look at it so now they has a dark transparent feel to it and then the icons are even a little bit smaller so and then also if you want to take a look at the dock you can change the way that your dock looks so you can have this is where your dock is going to be at so you can have it a slightly rounded rectangle or you can just have it a regular rectangle you can also change how transparent you want it to be which is basically this down here at the bottom this is what I'm changing down here and then also you can change the color so if you want to make a custom color you can do that as well just give it a nice lime green color and then it takes effect of that lime green color that I just customized and then also you can do the num page numbers and all that other stuff and then also if you want to have folders for your icons you can change the way how they appear so they right here it looks like a stack of them. then you can have a grid and you can have them in a line so it's really a whole bunch of things that you can do with this app um, I really like it so far uh, the one thing that I don't like is you can't control how big you want your widgets such as like in the Nova launcher you can change it where you can have custom widget sizes so uh, let's find a widget so for this widget as you can see it's a 6x4 um, I can't you can't make this widget any smaller than it is so right now you gotta have see it's not you can't change the size of it so that's pretty much why I don't really don't like this um, this launcher that's probably the only thing that I dislike about it uh, but uh, besides that I think it's a really good launcher so uh, be sure to check it out in the Google Play Store 
um, but that's pretty much it as far as that goes uh, there's a couple added things that you can do as far as more customized uh, you can load up your own custom icon packs so right now I have the Numix circle and the Rondo icon packs and you can also have it where it rotates the icon packs out so switches them as you want them and then there's a couple add-on features that you can do for this such as if you ever get icons or notifications the little number will show up of the unread messages or whatever it is that uh, how many notifications that you have it'll pop up next to the apps uh, but that's pretty much it uh, be sure to check out some of the other videos that I have and post it up and I'll catch you guys in the next